Hey, what's up guys, Crunchyook here, and welcome on back to a brand new tutorial, and in today's video, I am going to be showcasing my little parkour reset thing, and uh, yeah, it's pretty epic. So, basically, you will start off in this room area, I don't know, you can change it up yourself, I don't care really, and you stand on this thing, you're the green wall, and once you do that, it basically starts the mini game, and you can parkour, do whatever you want, but basically, once you fall, you will be reset to the position that you were last at. So I fall, I will teleport back right here. And I got teleported back right here. If I stand here, I get teleported back to here. And if I stand here, I get teleported back to here. It's an armor stand. And that's the way it works. Basically what will happen is you stand, once you get like here, I don't know, there's a radius, you will get teleported to this armor stand and when you're in a radius of this armor stand you get teleported up about five blocks six blocks whatever so like so like this and it tests if there is a block blocking this armor stands way so that's how i made it so that the parkour works uh because the armor stand will just like only get teleported if there's an empty block like that and the armor stand follows you everywhere like there so if I fall, like there, I will get teleported on the edge, basically. And uh, yeah, you get teleported back to your position. So say I jumped like that, you will get teleported right back here. Uh, if you actually jump over the block, uh, you will actually get teleported to that block because the armor stands uh, epic, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool system you can use for parkour systems and whatnot. I don't know. And when you touch the gold block, you will end the whole parkour session. So basically, guys, I'm going to show you each an individual command, uh, how it works, and what you can use it for. So the first command right here is a repeat, unconditional, always active command. Uh, and this is the command right here. It's an ex execution at P, and then I make it so that there's a tag you can make it if it's a single player like if it's a single player world you can make it so it's just at p but if it's a multiplayer world make sure there's a tag because you don't want everyone to just have it just it will glitch out if, if it's it will just teleport the armor stand to a random player basically um, and then the squiggly lines then you do slash teleport at e type equals armor stand and then give the armor stand a name i did respawn parkour the p stands for parkour and then a uh, squiggly line five squiggly line and then true because true means it's testing for blocks in front of it you can just pause the screen right now uh, write down everything here or and yeah yeah you can just write any of this down now this next command is crucial because it will basically allow you to reset and uh, this is slash tp and then whatever coordinates so those coordinates right up there are in this little corner right here right here the right that this block right here and it's detecting this entire this entire area and so basically uh, you want to do that the DX and DY and DZ is how I make it so that you make a square area I'm gonna make a tutorial on that whole section in commands so look out for that um, then you want to do tag running P because it will only teleport people who have that tag which is like the starting line or whatever and then it teleports you to the armor stand now after you get teleported to the armor stand you will in a radius it will be like slash execute and um, armor stand la -di -da -di -da. then it tps the at p which is you uh, in a radius of two of the armor stand basically if you're in a radius of like two with the armor stand it will teleport you six blocks up you don't have to do the facing that just makes it more a little bit fancier but if you want to do the facing you can do that um and yeah the rest of the blocks are just like the starting line and the end you don't need to know those um if you want to this is the command for it and this is the command it's just removing the tag and tping the person back to the starting line but anyways guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it, uh, please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you never miss one of these tutorials. And yeah, comment down below what uh, tutorial you want me to do next video, because I'll be happy to do it. It gives me a challenge, and it gives me something to do in Minecraft. Um, 
that is gonna be my next video it's not a tutorial it's a showcase so uh look out for that probably on tuesday yeah see you guys